Hastings Lees Smith. Hastings Bertrand Lees Smith, PC, 26 January 1878, 18 December 1941, was a British liberal turned labor politician who was briefly in the cabinet as president of the Board of Educ. He was the acting leader of the opposition and leader of the Labour Party as chairman of the Parliamentary Labour Party from 1940 during the time Clement Adela was in government. Family Background Lee Smith was from an army family. His father was a major in the Royal Artillery, and he was born in British India. He was educated at Aldenham School as a cadet at the Royal Military Academy, Woolwich and Queen's College, Oxford. Rejecting a military career, he chose academia and was appointed as a lecturer in public administration at the London School of Economics in 1906. He remained there throughout his political career. He was also chairman of the executive committee of Ruskin College, Oxford, from 1907 to 1909. He resigned on appointment as professor of public administration at the University of Bristol. In 1909, he went on an extended tour of India to lecture at Bombay on economics and advise on economics teaching. As a result of his experiences, he wrote studies in Indian economics. He joined a territorial regiment in 1915 and was wounded as a stretcher bearer on the Western Front and invalided out of the armed forces in 1917. In 1938, he distributed 40 British passports to German Jews in Frankfurt, thus aiding their escape. The Chest of Surprises describes the Lee Smith family history. Liberal Party At the January 1910 general election, Lee Smith was elected as a liberal for the two-member Northampton constituency. Unlike his fellow Northampton MP Charles McCurdy, rather than defend Northampton, which had been reduced to one member, he moved to the new Don Valley constituency but lost to a coalition-supported National Democratic and Labour Party candidate. Indicating his estrangement from the Liberal Party, he fought as an independent radical although he had been adopted by the local Liberal Association. He was the Member of Parliament who in July 1917 read Siegfried Sassoon's declaration that the First World War had continued too long and should be ended. Labour Party. In 1919, Lee Smith joined the Labour Party. He was picked as Labour candidate for Keithley and won the seat in the 1922 general election, profiting from a divided opposition. He was a noted speaker on banking and on reform of the House of Lords about, which he wrote several books including Second Chambers in Theory and Practice, 1923. Unfortunately for Lee Smith, the Conservatives stood down in the 1923 general election, and he was defeated by the Liberal candidate. This defeat prevented him from being appointed as a minister in the first Labour government. Ministerial Office The collapse of the Liberal Party in the 1924 general election meant, when Labour returned to office in 1929, he was made postmaster general where he defended the nationalized post office and tried to smarten up the post office counters. In a reshuffle in March 1931, he was promoted to president of the Board of Education and sworn of the Privy Council. In this capacity in June, he gave the opening address at the Second International Congress of the History of Science. He had only a brief time in office before the government fell and Lee Smith refused to follow Ramsay MacDonald into the national government. Defeated again in 1931, Lee Smith again won his seat back in 1935. He served on the front bench but was not invited by Winston Churchill to join the coalition government in 1940. As one of the most senior labor figures not in office, the responsibilities of running the party were given to him. In his partisan role, he strongly supported Churchill's conduct as war leader, even if the war did not always run in the Allies' favor.